Hello and welcome my dear grade 10 elite students to my channel Mathematics Made Easy. This is Mr. Tika welcoming you to today's session especially for your coming math term 3 exam. As most of you were requesting me here I am to help you with the grade 10 elite exam coverage. We begin today uh, with part 1 and learning objective 1. So let's start today's video and see what questions we are learning today. So in this video, we are going to be solving these three questions, question 6, question 7 and question 8, which are from your exam coverage part 1, learning objective 1, where we have to find the average rate of change. Uh, these questions are given in your math book on page 131, so you can refer to the following when you are solving the questions. Now the concept that we are going to use for average rate of change for a given function so if the given function is say fx, then the average rate of change of the function fx over an interval a, b. This is a closed interval which is given to you. You can calculate using the formula f of b minus f of a divided by b minus a. So you have to learn this formula. This formula we are going to be using for solving all these three questions. So let's begin with the first one. That is sixth question. Now here the function which is given is gx and the interval which is given is minus 2 to 1. So if you see your interval starts from a to b. So the value of a is going to be minus 2. The value of b is going to be 1. So you can calculate g of b minus g of a over b minus a. Why I put g? Because the function which is given here has g in it. It is g of x. So I am using g instead of f. So let's plug in this value g of b, g of a and b minus a. So this is going to be g of minus 2 minus g of, uh, let's just correct it a little bit here. I have to put the value of b. So b is 1 and here you have to put the value of a which is minus 2. So don't um, Interchange the two, don't make that mistake and be very careful when you are plugging the value. Now sometimes you may also have a negative sign, so be careful how you are substituting. Now we need to calculate g of 1 and g of minus 2. So how do we calculate that? By using the given function. So the given function is this. So I will write here g of b which is g of 1 will be equal to what? Wherever there is x, you replace the value 1. So you are calculating the function value at the point 1. So 2 multiplied with 1 square plus 4 multiplied with 1 minus 1. When you simplify this, this whole value is going to come out to be 5. You may use your calculator to simplify the calculation. Now you calculate g of a which is g of minus 2. That means you are replacing x now with minus 2 substitution. So this is going to be 2 multiplied with minus 2 whole square plus 4 multiplied with minus 2 minus 1. And when you simplify this, this comes out to be minus 1. So now we are ready to substitute the values. So in place of g of 1, I'm going to put the value 5 and in place of g of minus 2, minus 1. So let's plug in the value. So this is 5 minus of minus 1 over minus minus will become plus so this has changed to plus similarly in the numerator minus of minus 1 is going to give you plus so this is 6 divided by 3 or 2 so the final answer for the average rate of change of question 6 gx function over this interval is 2 that's your answer Okay, let's do similarly question 7 and 8. We are going to use the same formula which I have already given you in the beginning of today's video. So let's solve. I'm going to just make some divisions here. So we are going to do answer 8 here and answer 7 here. So let's focus on this question. So the interval is a to b. That means the value of a is negative. The value of b is also negative. So we have to calculate the function is f. So f of minus 4 and f of minus 1. Okay, these two values. So what do we do? Similarly, we go to the function, plug in these numbers and evaluate the value. So this is going to be minus 2, minus 4 cube, minus 5, minus 4 square, plus 6. Similarly, this value is going to be minus 2, minus 1, whole cube, minus 5, 
minus 1 whole square plus 6. So you have to be just very, very careful in your calculations. Don't do any mistake and your answer will come correct. So if you evaluate f of minus 4 will come out to be 54 for you. So I'm just highlighting it here. And f of minus 1 will come out to be 3 for you. You may check it on your calculators. And now we are ready to use this formula for average rate. So the answer is going to be f of b that is minus 1 minus f of a that is minus 4 over b minus a. So minus 1 minus of minus 4. Be careful about the negative sign. Negative negative becomes positive. Let's plug in the value. So this is 3 minus 54 over minus 1 plus 4. So the numerator becomes negative 51 over 3. So divide the 2 and your answer will come minus 70. So for question 7, the answer is going to be minus 17. Don't forget the negative sign. So this completes 7 question. Let's do the last one, 8. Uh, I'm going to be now quick on this because we are following the same method. You must be now more comfortable. So this is A, this is B f of 4 that is f of b is going to be 4 multiplied with 4 cube minus 4 square plus 9 times 4 minus 1 so this comes out to be on simplification a big number so you've got your f of 4 similarly do f of minus 2 this will come out to be minus 55 plug in the formula and your f of b minus f of a over b minus a will come out to be 275 minus of minus 55 divided by b minus a, so 4 minus of minus 2. Simplify, this comes out to be 330 over 6. So the final answer for this question is going to be 55. I hope you understood how to calculate the average rate of change of a given function over a given interval AP. So that completes this video on part 1, learning objective 1, where we covered questions 6, 7 and 8. I hope you found this video useful and if you did, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. And this is Mr. Chika signing off from this video. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.